All right, so today I want to talk about my idea for an infinite world first person RPG um, made in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I'm going to be going for like a, a voxel art style. I want it to be eventually. Uh, I don't think I'll do it for the alpha release, but for the uh, probably for the beta onwards, I'm going to do an infinite world generation. Uh, it gets more difficult as you go out. Um, so you start in a main city, and then there's several other cities spread out. Which has the, that's the main reason I don't want to do infinite world generation yet is because I haven't worked out how I want to position cities and then like position NPCs and stuff within the city properly. I want to do a system um, where you have a few uh, main cities and then as you travel further and further out, you encounter more and more difficult enemies and you can teleport back to the main towns. That's partially when I'm working on the teleportation right here. Um, this teleportation is probably from to teleport between towns and it'll, it'll cost money um you know maybe about the value of five ten minutes worth of gameplay and then i want to have a system where you can put down like a teleport beacon so let's say you walk out um you know for 20 minutes i don't want you to have to walk all the way back and then all the way back out again you know um i would like you to be able to uh teleport to the furthest po point that you went and so i'll probably have like a teleport beacon uh or something so you can teleport uh, back to the city, do you do some trading, you know, level up your weapons, whatever you need to do, and then go back out um, to wherever you were um, out in the wilderness, and then have um, you know a cost in game currency, you know, whatever, how many ever gold pieces, um, probably equal to like five minutes of gameplay or something, just so there's a penalty, so you don't have to, so you can't like teleport too much, but um, you know. You can teleport out, go grind for 20 minutes, and then teleport back, and you know you got the money, essentially, from 15 minutes worth of gameplay, you know, um, or the currency amount. Uh, the main thing about this game is AI NPCs. So, right now I'm using a system called Conv AI. What is your name? My name is Serac the Eternal. A name that has inspired fear and dread throughout the ages. And that has a lot of really cool built-in features. You can also do this uh, either with local LLMs uh, or you have something like ChatGPT. But I like using Conve AI because it has so much, so many built-in features. You know, following players, going to locations, all through voice interaction. Um, and I believe you can trigger other in-game events. Can you help me find my hammer? Sure. Here is your hammer. I found it. Uh, obviously, they uh, didn't really walk. It's because it's just a static mesh. It's not an armature at all. Um, I'm probably not going to implement that next, but that's in the list. Um, so, like, he knows where this hammer is. Uh, and eventually, I uh, want to do stuff like starting quests and all that through the AI, uh, which I think would be really cool. That's, like, the core... A unique gameplay mechanic is just being able to um, interact with AI through your mic, you know, to sit there, have a conversation with them. And through that conversation, they'll trigger starting quests. And eventually I'd like the quest to be AI generated dynamic quests with unique objectives and stuff. But uh, the exact implementation of that has yet to be determined, but I think that'd be really fun. And then for the alpha release, I'm just going to do a basic, melee and magic um just like a single melee weapon and a single spell probably but eventually i'd like to have between two and four uh, character classes the first two will probably be like a mage or sorcerer and um a knight just so the knight has access to just like a couple of spells like a you know a, maybe like a haste spell and a healing spell or maybe a light spell to cast light uh, or something um and then the wizard, um, you know, has mostly spells. They can only access like one or two basic weapons. You know, I also have an idea for how to do the most of the enemies and spells. You know, the weapon systems and everything, and health and character levels. I thought it'd be funny to use uh, D and D logic. When you make an attack, it rolls a random number between one and twenty or whatever, and then uh, shows you whether it hit and whether it did damage, like in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, so every time you cast a spell or make an attack, it um, 
you know has to hit the enemy ac um as well as um it rolls a d20 in the background for damage um you know, the ac the hitting having to hit the ac part um i'm not sure about that i may just do that built into the weapon and have just like a base system that in order to do damage to an enemy your weapon has to just be above the bit the weapon's base damage or base attack uh has to be above the enemy's ac um or it in order to do it, it's full damage you know maybe uh, but it only does half damage otherwise something like that um but we'll see that's all um we're kind of getting down in the details but for for now mainly i want to um focus on getting a large world and eventually an infinite world uh, with the voxel art style uh, which i've already been working on a little bit maybe the teleport beacon since that's pretty easy teleporting in between towns and the ai npcs and i want to do custom npcs uh with the uh, um kind of a, a nice modern voxel art style and then I want to get a, a basic combat system and a couple of basic enemies. Um, maybe probably just like a skeleton you can run around and kill. Um, and then just implement just basic menu and setting systems. And that's really all I plan for the for the alpha release. But then for the beta and eventually the full release of the game, on infinite world generation, dynamic quests, um, you know, a, a more complex combat system bunch of enemies again that you in order to find harder enemies to get more xp you have to travel further and we're further away uh, you know and it costs more to teleport the further you're teleporting so as you go out further and further you can teleport back and forth but it gets more and more expensive as well as you know you keep leveling up but so do the enemies and um you know very minor at first but the enemies will get harder and harder slightly faster than you're going to be able to level up and so uh, that's going to be like the core gameplay mechanic is talking to npcs go out and explore the infinite world maybe run into some npcs out there too a wandering traveler or uh, you know something like that and then get quests to find items and kill things or quests to talk to other npcs and have like some basic story um but mainly the core gameplay loop is just exploring out further and further and it gets more and more difficult the further out you go. Um, not just do the enemies get stronger, but you need to play better in order to beat them. You know, of course, it'd be cool to eventually have a bunch of like really complex game mechanics with like the enemies have like legendary action spells and attacks and cool stuff like that. But um, for now, I want to keep it pretty simple so I can actually <laughs> get this done. Hopefully, um, you know, there's no guarantee I'll actually get this done and release it, but I I'm gonna try. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I don't know how often I'll do game dev vlogs, but hopefully uh, I can get some get a, get one out every week or two, um, and keep you guys updated on the progress um, and what we got going on. See you next time.